What is going on you guys? It's your girl Diana, back at you with another YouTube video. These seven star Empoleon raids are set to go live this weekend, so today I'm gonna be sharing some Pokemon that you might wanna bring in order to take these raids down. So let's go ahead and hop into it. Bye. Bye. Per usual, let's go ahead and take a peek at what exactly we might be going up against once we do actually hop into these raids. So of course, Empoleon is typically a water and steel type Pokemon, but for this raid, it will have the ice terror type, so it will be an ice type. And sticking with the same theme as all of the other seven stars, it will most likely have its hidden ability, which is competitive, which is gonna make this raid kind of annoying because if you try to lower any of Empoleon's stats, it's gonna have like the opposite effect and actually end up helping it. But EV spread wise, it does have an HP stat of 84, an attack stat of 86, a defense stat of 88, a special attack stat of 111, so it is going to be a special attacker, a special defense stat of 101, and a speed stat of 60. So not the fastest, and it looks like its weakest points is going to be physical defense. As for its movesets, I can see this being very similar to the seven star iron bundle that was also an ice terror type. So I can definitely see it having a move like Blizzard that's gonna hit everybody that's out on the field. It's also probably gonna have some kind of water move since it is typically a water type as well. So it will probably have something like Hydro Pump. I can also see them putting a steel move on there like Flash Cannon since it's also usually a steel type. And then lastly for coverage, maybe something like Air Slash. When it comes to setup moves, Empoleon doesn't really have a lot going for it. It has Sword Dance, but since it's a special attacker that doesn't really help it. So if anything, I can definitely see them using something like Snowscape so that Blizzard is 100% accurate. And it also gives Empoleon a defense boost, which means that maybe you're gonna want to bring a special attacker over a physical attacker because if it does set up the snow and it's an ice type, that is gonna help its defense. I can also see them maybe putting something like Agility on there since it isn't the fastest Pokemon. So maybe that just to increase its speed a little bit. But yeah, it doesn't really have a lot for setup. So so it's gonna rely a lot on that competitive ability to, you know, get any kind of stat boost. And of course, with the snow, with the defense boost, which I believe the defense boost that ice types get from setting up the snow is a 1.5 times defense boost. So yeah, like I said, you might wanna consider bringing special attackers, even though it does have a better special defense than physical defense, just because I can definitely see all of this happening. And then competitive, just to, you know, be exact, it does raise Empoleon's special attack stat by two stages ages if any of its stats are lowered. So it's kind of like defiant, but for special attackers. So just a couple of things to keep in mind, but now that we have a general idea of what we might be going up against once we do actually hop into these raids, let's go ahead and hop into some of the Pokemon that you might want to bring. So per usual, I do have two different options for attackers and then two different options for support. For our first attacker, we are going to go with Gallade, who is normally a psychic and fighting type. And for the purposes of this raid, we'll have the fighting Terra type. It is going to be holding the metronome item, which might sound familiar because we used it in the last raid on Belly Bolt, which is an item that is held by your Pokemon and it boosts the power of a move that you use repeatedly. Uh, once the chain's broken, you do go back to like square one. So it returns back to its normal power. But if you're gonna be spamming a move, metronome is a great option. For our EV spread, it is gonna be full HP and full attack with an attacking nature. The ability doesn't really matter for Gallade, so whatever you want. And move set wise, we do have Sunny Day, Sword Dance, Skill Swap, and Drain Punch. So Sunny Day is gonna be helpful because if it does set up Snowscape, that's gonna get rid of that. And it's also going to lessen the amount of damage that moves like Hydro Pump do. Sword Dance is there to, of course, help you set up. And Skill Swap is there so that you can get rid of competitives, that you don't have to worry about any stat drops that Empoleon might use to actually boost its special attack. And then Drain Punch is going to be your spam move of choice. And Gallade is probably going to be the best option for you to bring if you do want to do this raid on your own. So if you don't have a group, this is probably gonna be your go-to, but 
as usual, I will also have a solo strat once the raids actually do go live. The second option that you have as a special attacker is going to be good old reliable Golden Go, which is of course a Steel and Ghost type Pokemon, and for the purposes of this raid, will be a Steel Terra type. Held item for Golden Go is going to be a Life Orb, so this is definitely more of a group strat, since you are going to be losing a little bit of HP every time you do use an attacking move. However, it is also going to boost the power of that move. For its EV spread, it is going to be full HP and full special attack with a special attacking nature. It does have its ability good as gold, which is always good because you're immune to any status moves. And moveset wise, we are going to be running Nasty Plot, Make It Rain, Flash Cannon, and Recover. Nasty Plot is, of course, going to be your setup move. Make It Rain is going to be like your big hard hitting move, and it's also a steel type move, and you're also going to be a steel Terra, so it's going to be great into the ice type. Flash Cannon is going to be your other attacking option and it also has the added benefit of not dropping your special attack every time you use it, like make it rain. And then recover is there for HP recovery, since like I mentioned, with the life orb, you are going to be losing a bit of HP every time you use make it rain or flash cannon. But moving on to our support Pokemon, the first option that we have is good old reliable Umbreon, which is of course a pure dark type. And per usual, the Terras for the support Pokemon don't matter since you're typically not going to be terastalizing them. Uh, Covert Cloak is going to be the held item for Umbreon, which means that it's not going to take any secondary effects from any moves, like a flinch, for example. For its EV spread, it is going to be full HP and full special defense with a special defense nature, and it is going to have the ability synchronized. However, that doesn't really matter because moveset-wise, we have Snarl, Skill Swap, Fake Tears, and Light Screen. Snarl is going to be there to lower Empoleon's special attack. And I know what you're thinking, like why would you have that on there if it has competitive? And that's where skill swap comes in handy because you're going to swippity swap the abilities so that you don't have to deal with competitive. Fake Tears is there to lower Empoleon's special defense. And then Light Screen is there to of course help you and your team survive more hits since uh, Empoleon is gonna be hitting pretty hard. And lastly, for our final support option, we have Tinkaton, which is of course a fairy and steel type. And then once again, terror type doesn't matter, but but its held item is going to be a citrus berry for a little bit of HP recovery. As for its EV spread, it is going to be full HP, full special defense as well with a special defense nature. And moveset wise, it is going to have fake tears, helping hand, light screen, and skitter smack. Fake tears is going to lower the special defense of Empoleon. Helping hand is there to help set up your attacker. Light screen is there to once again, help you take those big special hits a little bit better. And then skitter smack is also going to lower Empoleon's special attack as well. But there you have it. Those are a couple of options that you might want to bring when going into the seven star Empoleon raids. Hopefully you guys found this video helpful and leave a comment down below on what you're planning on bringing so that people can get more ideas for these raids. So that's going to go ahead and wrap it up for today's video. Hopefully you found this video helpful. And if you did, I kindly suggest that you consider subscribing so that I can continue to make content for you guys. And if you are already subscribed and you would like another way to support the channel, feel free to check out the merch store. There is a link down below in the description that takes you to not only my merch store, but also all of my other social so you can keep up with what I'm doing on a daily basis. But thank you guys so much for watching and thank you to those of you who have joined the channel as members. I appreciate you all so much. I love you guys and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.